the first time when I told my mom that I was being stalked, um, she actually looked at me and was like, you're not that pretty what? Who wanna stalk you? So <laughs> My very first encounter with sexual assault was when I was molested when I was eight by a male classmate and then there were incidents of um, upskirt photos when I was 12 in school and then I had a stalking incident that lasted for about three to four months when I was 17. Also the same age where um, the rape incident occurred. But I think the rape was most traumatic because it was done by someone I really trusted and someone um, I had an intimate relationship with. But I think not enough people believe that this can happen in intimate relationships between partners, um, be it a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship or just like any romantic relationship really, or even um, in a marriage. At first, definitely when it first occurred, I did not understand where the aggression and where the violence was coming from. It took a while for me to kind of like, okay, I really need to tell my friends. It was very surprising for me and definitely very heartwarming when I told them and they did not really say anything. They just looked at me and you know they hugged me and they were just like I can't believe this happened to you and they were angry on my behalf. They had all these range of emotions and it was good to be believed. It was good that they listened to me and they completely validated all my emotions. It felt worth it to tell someone when the whole Eden Ang scandal happened. My cousin was involved and I could not believe that, you know, someone within my family actually, so close to me, we never knew this was happening to each other, you know. If you're going through a similar situation, take your time. Process what has happened. You would go through that whole grieving process where you're upset, you're angry, you just feel like burning everything, not talking to anyone and then just feel like crying for days and not doing anything, that's fine. It's part of the process. People will always urge you to report and I'll definitely say that reporting is useful but I believe that your own healing and your own comfort has to come first and I hope you find people that care enough about you to listen to what you have to say.